He said it's bad to fight for the cloud. We just cloud it up and then we can't run. But what I want to do. Yes, now, most of you are at West Point 
generals and officers and majors, they haven't been in the trenches. They got it from the book. Yeah. Yes, sir. And they can tell you scientifically what you're supposed to do. But it's a different thing to tell you what you're supposed to do with bullets flying over your head and minds are blowing up around you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bishop B. and Ella Bryant and myself, we preached out our church. And I'm not fighting anybody that have a church given to them. But I tell you something, when you preach one hour, you're in the trenches. And you are responsible for everything. No views, nobody left you anything. No people, no members. But God brought you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That makes a lot of difference. Yes, sir. And today, the man that's going to speak to you. He had been throughout the United States as an evangelist. He was pastoring. Uh, before I started pastoring, he was pastoring in the city. He's traveling the United States as an evangelist, and he's pastoring now. Amen. And one of the things that I want to say, when the tragedy hit us this year in March, Bishop Eda called me, Ella Bryant called, but Ella Bryant not only called him, I know the bishop did not have the time, and I did not expect that. I didn't even expect it from Ella Bryant. But every day, Ella Bryant came by. Every day he came by to see how he was doing. Amen. Amen. He came by to sit with me, came by and talk with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Some of you may not understand, but when you at your lowest, yeah. That's when you find out how much people care. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I said it to our church, I appreciate you, Bishop Lee. And I said it to our church, I appreciate Ella Bryant. And the other man that was just unbelievable phenomenon in that was Bradham English. Praise 85 years old, 86 years old. And Bradham English came by almost every day, sat with me, talked with me. Praise God. That's when you need folks when you're down. Yes, yes, a friend that's just said a friend that with you when you're up, that's not a friend. Yes, but a friend that comes into the trenches with you, yes, taking a break for you, yes. helping to wound you, wine, helping to put oil in your wound, and helping to put wine in your wound to get you back here. Yes, and so that you, that is a real friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I want to thank God for Ellen Bryant today. And after the harmonic solo by missionary True Jones, I want you to stand on your feet and receive Evangelist Elmer H. A. Bryan. Great to have you, Mr. Bryan.
blessings and the multitude of your blessings has been shared abroad in our hearts. Lord, here we are, you brought us. But we know you taught us. And we're grateful for what you're doing even in our lives. We come against every evil and damnable spirit. Find the hand of Satan everywhere. Go with all the hands of the wicked. The glory of the Lord you believe. Satan, the Lord you believe. The hand of God is here. We need the word right now. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Our strength and our redeemer. And all the people said, Amen. May be seated in the house of the Lord. We do honor the Lord today for Jesus and his precious blood that covered our soul and to our bishop, Bishop Ely, and to my longtime friend and brother, Dr. Harden, and to all of the ministers, and my longtime friend, Dr. Carruthers, God bless Sister Perry, and all of the people of the Lord. Somebody said to me the other day, Brother Brian, it's good to see you. And I replied, it's good to be seen. Yes, sir. 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 I'm grateful the Lord has spared me and given me this opportunity to proclaim the word of God. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm thankful to Bishop Ely and Dr. Harden for allowing me to be a part of this fellowship. I am not a bishop nor a bishop's son, or, but I thank God that they had mercy on me. And said, let's take our brother <laughs> along with us. Yes, sir. I said that Dr. Uh, Love's 85th birthday, for some reason the speaker didn't show up. And out of all the preachers they had there, they came and said, that look like, would you bring the message? And I kind of looked and seen all the dignified preachers and world-renowned preachers. And I said, a little somebody like me? <laughs> and my little thought, and I'm saying this, how good and how pleasant it is yes, for brothers yes, sir. Yes, sir. to dwell together yes, in unity. Yes, and they saw my condition, and like they seen Joseph, and they wanted to leave him down in a gully, so to speak, and to die and he looked and seen me down there. Somebody said we can't do that. Took me up out of the muck in the mall. And Joseph, you know, they sold him to a caravan that was going on in the Egypt. Then. Amen. He said, well, why didn't you leave him there? And he said, no, that's my brother. And I thank you, brothers. Amen. 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 Now, I, I, I'm willing to share. Y'all know me. I don't have to preach. I, I, I like to shout too. Amen. I saw Dr. Harden trying to, you know, slow y'all down. So he put it, I want it so bad to go up there and say, let The more they do that, the less I got to do. Amen. But I'm grateful. Bishop, um, I heard you say something some time ago. Sometime when you get up to preach, you said that um, don't try to ride new horse. 
I'm gonna try to laugh at what you said. Never written it before, but I'm gonna try it. You may bump and. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna try to stay in the saddle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had driven here to the church earlier this morning and I was already here and my nephew called me and said, Uncle, where are you? I said, I'm at church. He said, I came to get you. I said, all right. So I had to get in my car and go back home and park my car. <laughs> and get in a limousine. The <laughs> nephew has a limousine service and said, no, 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 not today. You, you ride in a limousine. <laughs> Trying to make me think I'm somebody. I know who I am. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord and try to, amen, get my feet in the stirrups and get in the saddle and see if I can ride this new horse. Let me say this right quick. Hard and let my stuff alone. In the book of Acts. See, these educators, they ain't crazy. They don't want to take the simple things and, amen, turn them into phenomenal things. Chapter number 12. Verse number 15. I need to pray last night. Yes, sir. I've been working and working. I was working, Bishop, on another. I had in my mind something else. Then all of a sudden, the Lord just dropped this in my spirit. I thought, I know you said, take it. <laughs> Acts chapter 12, verse number 15 says, And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then they said, It is an angel. If you turn to Acts 26, you that have your Bibles, uh, verse number 24, uh, And as he just spake for himself, that's the same with our boss, Paul, and on the side of ourselves. Yes, Much learning doesn't make the man. You may not like what I'm going to ask you to do, but I'm going to ask you to do it, and this is going to be my subject. Look at your neighbor and say unto them, You must be crazy. <laughs>
I'm quite sure that most of us have looked at somebody and said, you must be crazy. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. So, 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 so. I'm getting in trouble. But if somebody approached you the wrong way and said the wrong thing, you say to them, and in your mind, you must be crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Things don't happen like that. I don't do things like that because of the fact I'm wrong and something wrong with you. Yes, sir. And you come to the conclusion, Dr. Perez, got to be crazy. Yes, sir. Some people ask you to do some unreasonable things and want you to go a uh, place that you don't normally go and do things that you don't normally do. And you come to the conclusion, you must be crazy. Yeah. Let me get through. I'm not got to give me five minutes, ten minutes. I think about in the word of the Lord that things that were happening in God who made the earth and Fulfilled it and gave everything that we need. And later on, I found that he repented God mm -hmm. yes, sir. that he ever yes, sir. made man. Yes, yes, he said, You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to destroy the world and uh, these that dwell therein. God found favor with a man named Noah. Yes, sir. So listen, this is what I want you to do. I want you to build an ark. And I want you to pitch it within and without. And I want you to build it out of gospel. And that itself gives me to know that it and everything can't go to God's house. Paper man. 
amen and all that. That's because the Lord needs me. There they were. No obey the voice of God and went out and began to gather in the things that he needed to build and all. Time will not permit me to go through the whole story of what they did and how they did it. God gave him command. I want you to call in the animals two by two. But a very clean beast, you call it in seven by seven. And there they became in the ark. And I want you to get your children and their wives and let them y'all come on into the ark. There they went into the ark and wow, they were there. Someone had said that God sent an angel to inspect the ark to make sure that everything was secure. Yes. Even in building a building today, you just don't build if you're building it right. That an inspector don't come around. Amen. Amen. You want to check your work and make sure. That everything is in place. Amen. Amen. So he been on this ark and someone said that he sent an angel to check. And when he got through inspecting, he locked the door and took the key. And I want you to know this. He was locked in with God and locked out from the world. Sometimes we need to be locked in with God. Just all alone with the Lord. And I tell you, one of the best lessons I ever got and ever received in fact when I was all alone with the Lord. Somebody wrote in a song and said, And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me that I. Ship on dry line. 
never rained before on the earth. Yes, sir. He don't have nowhere to launch this boat. Yes, sir. He don't have no pier, no dock to take it to. Yes, sir. And then he built a wet ship on the ground. Yes, and now he can go up now. Before he had to be in building the ark, he can walk through the city and go downtown where the people were assembled together. And he stopped by on his way to work and said, Last night I had a talk with God. Wait 